this is the install video for our Ridge Racer and Outrun sound upgrade kit. Uh, so what we have here is the 2.1 kit. So your amplifier, bass shaker, the input cable and the mounting screws, as well as the replacement H panel uh, for your Ridge Racer, which will uh, mount the amp in. We also have the 2.0 version, which the install is very similar to. We'll, we'll show the differences. So first thing to do is remove the H panel from the Ridge Racer top. So with the Ridge Racer, it's quite nice that it's just two screws. I take this off. The outrun is a little different because it comes in out of the slots. Pop off. And then the BS Customs panel will fit right in. Now we've pre-drilled holes so you can um, attach the panel with the amp either on the left or on the right depending on what your preference is uh, for the way you want to use it. So just reuse your same screws and reattach. So we have our audio input cable. Uh, if you have our gaming box, this will already be installed inside your control panel to that gaming box. If you're using a PC to drive your audio or your, your upgrade, you will have this attached to the sound on your, on your PC. Feed that up through the panel. We also have the existing arcade one up speaker plug now this that's what um this is the plug for the speakers we're going to feed that through we also have a 12 volt power adapter for the amplifier so when we're putting the power adapter cable in we're going to run run through the hole in the back panel ahead of time and feed that up start getting out of the way through as well So with the 2.1 amplifier, we've attached the uh, the bass shaker, the subwoofer channel speaker wire on there as well already. So that will feed down the hole. So you can see our custom adapter board we've designed just for the arcade one up amp interface so you've got the input to plug in the RCA ports the speakers the four pole three and a half millimeter will plug into the speakers port make sure it's firmly pressed in also make sure when you're pressing it in that you're holding the board that you don't wiggle and wobble and and break the board off with too much force same thing goes for the 12 volt power and that's going to plug in just like that so there you have your amp all connected we're going to just feed it into the hole make sure your volume is facing up or down whichever you prefer but that'll sit in there just like that we've also included the screws to just attach that panel like that into the pre-drilled holes. So we can attach the base shaker wire to the base shaker just with these screw terminals. Uh, we've mounted the base shaker in the center of the bottom panel. Um, it could be if you're using the sit down version of our with our ridge racer that could be mounted to the back of the riser or to one of the side panels so just insert those wires into the screw terminals and tighten them up
with the 2.0 amp installation, it'll come with the three and a half millimeter input cable instead of the RCA. So that will feed up through, and then we'll also feed the speaker output cable. So here's our 2.0 amp. So there's no base output on this amp. Um, but again, it uses our arcade one up interface board. The speaker cable will plug into, again, the speakers. Make sure you don't confuse these two cables because they will both fit in each other's ports. But this speaker cable, make sure it's plugged into what's labeled as the speakers. Again, hold that firmly and press it in to make sure you get a good solid connection. Same as the power cord, plug that in. And then the audio input will plug directly into that port on the amp. And again, hold it firmly and push straight in. Make sure they're seated all the way and clicked in. So the amp will just slide again into that hole and we'll attach it with the included screws. So the install on the outrun cabinet is uh, basically the same as the Ridge Racer, uh, other than swapping out the H panel. So anyone who's put an arcade one-out machine together knows that you have to loosen the side panels and a couple of the screws on the monitor mount to split the machine enough to get that panel out of the grooves. So it's easiest if you just loosen off the monitor screws as well. Just a little bit there. Enough to spread the sides apart. And get, that, get that panel to come out. So our replacement panel will fit in the same way. Um, the the amp hole needs to be near the bottom in order to clear uh, the marquee and speaker mount. So that'll just pop right in there like the old one. And then just tighten everything back up. And you're good to go.